Lisa Sotorica. Yeah, Judge Lisa Sotorica. Uh, she's on the, uh, the the Equal Rights uh, Amendment. She's on the e ERA, which is part of the National Organization for Women. She's on the board of that organization. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Right. They threw him on the yeah, bus. <laughs> Yeah, I'm hearing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mark, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, so that, that was the situation was that she um, lost her house two weeks ago. She flew out, and they gave her this motion the same day is that we're charging you, we're taking away, we can run away. And not only have we kicked you out of your house, uh, we're also taking away, we run away. And this is an extra attorney. Emailed it to her, so she had to quickly. We had like just a couple of days before she was filing term. She went to court on Wednesday, and now they're accusing her of fraud because she had a rental home that her grandmother had during the divorce, and they sold it to a friend because it had gotten beaten up. And now all of a sudden they're bringing all this up again, saying that she's. She's guilty of fraud, and mm. that she's already, that they had sentenced her to jail time just for simply a crazy motion and counter motion and paying money and back and forth. And they let her out to, um, you keep hearing noises, which is distracting, I'm sorry. They let her out to, uh, to pack. And then they said, we're going to put you back in jail. Mm -hmm. So she went there Wednesday and they said, you know what, you know, your attorney, the other attorney emailed you notice. Mm -hmm. However, you, you emailed the other attorney notice of your request to reinstate parenting time. And we're not going to hear your motion. Mm -hmm. However, opposing counsel now is handing you new motions and accusing you of fraud and going to try to put you back in jail again. Mm -hmm. And now you've got seven days and you're back in court again or we're going to 
put you in jail for 120 days. Jesus. And she had like just a couple of days to write up an answer on her own. She's pro se, doesn't have an attorney, file all this. And it is my understanding when I read the motion that they uh, they have just been after Deborah. They've taken, I had an attorney talk to her. We did a conference call. He went and he met with her. He looked through everything and he said, they've taken everything from her. What else can they take from her? And they're trying to now say that uh, factor in the divorce is a piece of property. They, they took her inheritance. Her grandmother, they've made her pay her ex husband's court fees. Damn. And he lives with his mom, and they won't let her see her son. So, it's called gang stalking. Wow. This is Lisa Gorsica overseeing that, and I have, I have a call to action right now that anybody in or near Oakland County needs to show up at 8 30 in the morning and protest outside of And it's 